No, ang parang mag-isa ako ngayon eh. Ang parang mag-isa ako ngayon eh. Halos magtatatlong taon na rin na hindi aktibo ang magaling na aktor na si John Lloyd Cruz. Kaya naman, kamakailan ay nag-viral sa Instagram at Facebook ang video ng IG Live nila ni Ms. Bea Alonzo. Naging usapan at marami ang nagbigay ng kanya-kanyang komento sa Twitter sa kanilang naging usapan. Marami ang kiniligat na tuwa. Marami rin naman nag-alala para sa aktor na si John Lloyd Cruz. Layunin ng Rosie Rosie na magbigay ng makabuluhang impormasyon, inspirasyon, guidance at motivation and one of our mission is to shed a different light into this kind of situation. And we believe that most of us are already familiar to these statements. Ikaw, mag-isa ka dyan? Kasama ko sa dyan, ma. Hindi naman ako mag-isa, pero kayo na pa ako mag-isa nagre-request sa mga gusto kong makausap pa. Yun lang akong kausap. Ikaw? Oo, no, parang mag-isa ako ngayon eh. Hihimayin namin ang mga posibleng ibig sabihin ng mga pahayag na ito ni John Lloyd Cruz. Paalala, Our opinion is solely based sa aming sariling experiences with clients and participants na nahandle namin during workshops. Layunin po namin na makapagbigay ng liwanag sa mga nanonood ng aming video dahil naniniwala kaming maaring makatulong, maliwanagan, at maraming maaring makarelate sa aming mga ibabahagi sa lahat ng makakapanood. Hindi, 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 hindi ako mag-isa. Pero parang, parang, parang mag-isa. Sigurado, hindi mo lang ito isang beses narinig at hindi lang si John Lloyd Cruz ang nakapagsabi nito. Marahil narinig na natin ito sa ating kaibigan, pamilya, or ikaw mismo, nasabi na at naramdaman ito. Uh, ewan, al- alam ko nakakausap kita. Minsan nakakausap ko rin si na Jobert, mga kaibigan ko. Pero iba pa rin eh. Parang may pag-iisa pa rin eh. Alam mo yun. Parang... Kasi yata yung pinakamalungkot na uri ng pag-iisa. Yung tipong napapalibutan ka naman ng ibang tao. Pero hindi mo lang alam, hindi mo lang masabi kung saan ang gagaling yung pakiramdam na nagsasabing mag-isa ka pa rin. Why people feel lonely? Kahit na marami kang kaibigan pero feeling mo nag-iisa ka. Kahit literal or physically may kasama ka. Is this depression? Maari, sabi na nakararami. Ngunit para sa amin, this person is searching for something na hindi niya matumbo kung ano at hindi niya alam kung saan ang gagali. Ang kahulugan ng salitang searching ay Try to find something by looking or otherwise seeking carefully and thoroughly. Examine thoroughly in order to find something or someone. Ngunit sa kabilang banda, ang kahulugan ng salitang searching ay thoroughly scrutinizing, especially in a disconcerting way. At ang kahulugan ng disconcerting is causing one to feel unsettled or hindi ka mapalagay at parang may kulang na hindi mo rin alam. That is why you keep on asking and you keep on looking. Yung alam mong dapat masaya ka kasi Okay ka naman, maswerte ka. Mm. May bahay ka. Nakakain ka ng higit sa dapat sa isang araw dahil kahit nasa lockdown ka. Mm. Nakapag, nakapag-internet ka. So, di ba dapat masaya ka na? Diba dapat papasalamat ka na lang. Matututo kang makontento kung nung meron ka, mm. nasan ka. Kasi, yung iba nga, wala nang makain eh. Kasi ako, namamatay na. Tapos, ako okay naman, maswerte nga. 
Pero hindi lang... Hindi ko lang talaga masabi kung, kung saan gagaling mo. Bakit may ganito kang nararamdaman. Sama eh, no? Parang, <laughs> parang sarili ko lang yung iniisip. This is what we believe what John Lloyd Cruz is talking about. May mga ilan na nagsabi na ang yaman na niya, pero bakit hindi siya masaya? Ang daming achievements, pero parang may kulang pa rin. These questions were also asked and said by the late Whitney Houston sa isang documentary about her life. People think it's so easy, and it's not. It is because, my friends, material things and achievements that this world can give is not enough to make us fulfilled and happy. It is not the true measurement of success in this world. And peace can't be satisfied by the amount of money you have in your bank account, nor the luxury of life, and how magnificent your house would be. Palagi namin sinasabing makakabili ka ng 100,000 worth ng kama, pero hindi mo kayang bilhin ang kapayapaan at mahimbing na tulog. So how can we find peace? Maraming ways ang tao just to find and look for peace. People do meditations, which is helpful. People try to look for meaning using different books, taking vitamins and healthy living as what others will suggest. All of these are helpful, and these are instruments of the Lord that can be used for us to have peace. The greatest foundation of peace is our higher source, our God. Jesus, our Savior, wala nang iba. As what Philippians 4.7 says, as the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. From Him, it will provide answers to your questions. If dumarating ka na sa point kung saan hindi mo na alam kung ano ang dapat gawin, the greatest book of all is our Bible. The greatest teacher is Jesus. He provides all the wisdom we need it. What we realize is that, if we do things just to satisfy ourselves, our wants, and needs, those will give temporary satisfaction that will make you feel tired and weary. However, when we do things with purpose and to glorify God, then that is where true peace and happiness will be achieved. When we live and give everything to the Lord, hindi lang one more chance, at hindi second chance, ang ibibigay niya sa atin, kundi napakaraming chance para magtiwala sa kanya. Dahil lang totoo, hindi lang si Popoy at Basha ang may 24-7 love, kundi ang Diyos na hindi nagsasawang mahalin tayo, and truly, that love is unconditional. As what 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 11 says, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you.